Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Fights His Friends. Today, well, we're going to go fight our friends. Now, I have the same blade setup as I did when I ended last episode. I'm going to stick with Praxis because she's probably my most damaging type right now. Well, she is definitely my most damaging type. I don't even think, like, Percival has or Cassandra has, like, an up-to-date weapon. Could be wrong on that because I haven't used either of them in a while. So they're... Wow, that's actually kind of sad their their damage output's got to be kind of like crap but on the upside we have evasion tech with uh percival and a shield attack that in i think restores hp but i do have it set up so that i restore 6.5 percent of my hp when i auto attack and i could probably easily do that by moving and resetting my auto attack but we'll see about that um i'm not sure if i'm gonna have to fight all of them again i i might or we could just fight these guys. That's fine. Mop the floor with them, Rex. Ha! Uh, attack speed's not Focus. high right now, but eventually it will. We'll use our special. With the reduced damage, it should be fine. Yeah, we're doing like a lot better now. No effect. No stronghold. Oh man, you can just straight up lock all my attacks there too. That makes building my specials up kind of annoying. Okay. Oh, well, I guess we're using this one right away now. That was like 16,000 damage. Ow. Yeah, hold up. The enemy's eye is music to my ears. Yep. Take Go for it. For it. Thunder. Compose yourself. So it's we should tough. be fine there. Wow. Okay, never mind. Jesus Christ. Wow, we just ended them. That's fine by me, really. Enough stop. Did we just kill Tora? No. Uh. Tatora, Poppy. No, I never wanted this. Zeke, Pandoria. What are you doing, Rex? <laughs> are we just standing there, like flipping out? Oh. Huh? Oh, we're on Gramps! Gramps. Gramps, why are you so dark? This place. Why does the screen keep pulsating? That's the first thing we saw in this game. Well, okay, we saw him diving for treasure first. What is the point? Huh, Gramps? What is the point of us, really? We are born as blades, then return to our slumber, again and again, over countless years, until we become titans, to wander this world for countless more. And at the end of it all, we sink into nothingness. Have you ever thought about it? What it means to exist for close to an eternity with no clear purpose or goal? I guess that would be kind of boring. That's... Must be nice to be human. Living for a limited time, thinking limited thoughts. It must be so much easier. Sounds like shit, to be quite honest. I envy your kind. Just think, Rex, would you? What would you do if you were me? Would you be happy to drift around the ocean with a human on your back? No. Is that all I am to be?
I, I don't know how I'm supposed to answer that. To be fair, you've been riding on my back for a while, me. dog. You're being strange. Everyone's acting so strange. So this is like a test, maybe? Because I really don't assume these are the real ones. Well, mostly because we just incinerated Tora and Zeke and Pandora and all them. I mean, Tora got... Again? What is that? Oh, no. Wait, this is Lefarian. It's in color, so is it present-day Lefarian? Welcome back. You're late, Rex. Where did you wander off to? Pyra. Mithra. <laughs> Rex is like, this is a dream come true. Let's go ahead and eat. I've cooked up a whole bunch of your favorites. I hope you've got room. I want the third form to come walking out, like, <laughs> just to, just, just to fulfill the dream of Rex. Well, eat up. She's being way too nice. He's got to be really confused right now. Understandably. Which kind of bread do you want? The one that's made out of bread. Um, um maybe this and this. There you go. The wine? Hey, do you want some wine? It is wine. Oops. He's like 16. You're too young. Silly me. <laughs> Mithra, has something happened? What do you mean? Wait, how old are you two? Well, again, never He's mind. Just, They're like 500 some odd years old. Never mind. Normal. Stop it. I'm always nice to you, aren't I? If, uh. if you say so. In the I'm gonna pick hey, fun of you Rex, in the I have a crush on you way. How can you sit down to eat without washing your hands first? That's a faux pas. Go wash your hands. Right okay. Now. Oh, don't call her mom. I, um, don't call sorry. her mom. That'd be weird. Right. You don't have indoor plumbing. I'm like, what the like hell are you Mithra doing today, Pyra? Did you scrub them properly? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they clean. Uh. Great. Okay, then. Let's eat. Thanks for the food. Um, it looks really good. I'm waiting for something to happen. Like... Tastes even better. Of course it does. A bomb that should go off. After all, I made it myself. Maybe I'll try my hand next time. Mithra, no. You know how that always ends. But carbon's good for you. What? Anyway, <laughs> I want to do something nice for Rex, too. No cooking. <laughs> Who's going to save the world if Rex gets the runs? You're so mean. It was only. That's that a good point, time. actually. Um, it's okay, you two. I don't care who cooks. I'm just happy with. I'm happy with. We're not fighting. Oh he's god, he's gonna cry. Don't cry. I don't I don't handle crying well. Rex. It's so strange. I don't even know what I'm doing here anymore. Uh, yeah, I Everyone's think that sometimes. All they all said I But now you two. Did I go wrong somewhere? I think that's enough. Please, Father. Hmm. So those two were aware of it, it seems. I'm assuming the other ones weren't. One, it was all black and white. Two, I like I disintegrated Torah, Zeke, and all them. Uh, I see Nia in the background. Ah, right, there you go.
You guys. Uh, Rex. Why are we all here? I thought I was... I merely wished to examine the shapes of your hearts. By torturing Rex. That voice. Your... My name is Klaus. The architect of this world. I have watched over you all this time. I have seen your thoughts, your desires, the things you have achieved. So you did that just now? Yes. Those were not your present forms, but alternate possibilities. Your other selves that lie within. That is what I wanted to see. Our other selves? You mean we're all thinking stuff like that, deep down? Was that how we really feel? Then you saw it too? Looks like we were all shown the same kind of stuff. It creeped me out. What are you trying to prove? Those were the fears you harbor. I don't get it at all. What was your purpose in showing us this? Those were not pleasant visions to behold. Did we all see different things? Like, that was... My only purpose was to find out how mankind has changed and where it is headed. And were you disappointed? No. As you stand before me right now, that is who you are. That is enough. Architect, sir. I came here because I met Pyra. Is this really Elysium? Are you really? I will show you everything. Memories. Mine. And those of this planet. This world was once the stage of a struggle for survival that dwarfed this current predicament. The world was an unseemly place, though glimpses of beauty persisted. Like giant mechs. What should people live for? Who should they live for? They live for themselves. To harbor desires and struggle to realize them. That is the natural state of man. But I did not think that was good enough. Yeah, I got questions about that. I lost hope for mankind. I searched tirelessly for an outside solution. And one day I found it. The conduit. Why it chose to appear before us, I do not know. However, its existence presented a new possibility. Possibility? Our world was not the only one. Endless universes coexist, side by side, yet all completely unaware of one another. The conduit was our link to these foreign worlds. And I opened that forbidden gateway, praying that it would change the world. I mean, it did? <laughs> so you're not completely wrong. You have seen the plane called Moritha, have you not? That is what remains of my world. When I opened the conduit, many people and many things disappeared into distant dimensions. 
All that remained here were the ruins of Moritha. Go! And half of my body. Your body? Half of me lives on in some other dimension. Uh, okay. But not for much longer. Uh -huh. The moment of my other self's demise draws near. Father, you... I was a fool. Because of my foolishness, I lost everything. Left here, alone and broken, I longed for oblivion, but even that eluded me. What's with the cyborg parts? This is my punishment. Retribution from on high, for the sin I have committed. On high? There was only one thing I could do. I had to atone for my sin. I swore to restore this world. The first thing I created was a special particulate substance with the ability to restore deteriorated matter. You all know it as the Cloud Sea. The Cloud Sea can disassemble matter it comes in contact with and rebuild it in the image of all the things that once made up this world. This way, little by little, I could rebuild the world I had brought to ruin. Hmm. Next, I began to recreate life. I gathered miniature vessels containing memories of all this planet's former life forms. Can I, can I have that? Oh, okay, never mind. And I scattered them across the cloud sea. These are the core crystals. The crystals bonded with the cloud sea's particulate reconstructors and formed the nuclei of new life. Is that how you spell that? Nuclei? Those huh. nuclei developed huh. into minute life forms. The titans, who would, over time, grow larger and larger. Finally, the titans gave birth to complex organisms based on the data in their core crystals. This newly birthed life over untold millennia evolved into a new breed of mankind. So that's how we came to live in this world. But I did not trust this world, born as it had been. What if it were to repeat our mistakes? What if someone like me appeared to stave off these doubts i implemented one final measure and so the blades were born <sighs> ontos logos and numa the three cores of the trinity processor formed their cornerstone however Ontos triggered a space-time transition event and disappeared forever. Wait, what? I was left with the other two, Logos and Numa, and trusting them with I'm assuming Numa is Pyra. And Mithra. Logos and Pyra. Those are the names that you now know them under. So I am Numa. You guys ever seen the Numa Numa dance? Managing. The core crystals at the heart of each blade are tasked with relaying all kinds of information to Logos and Numa about the selection pressures of the outside. I'm like, what the hell's wrong with Mithra? Of their bonded human, but also the experiences and emotions they share as the data continually accrues. 
New evolutionary code is sent back to the core crystals. And this code is used to create new, further evolved blades. These blades too become titans in time. And create new generations of life forms. Hey, Wolfric! This was the new circle of life I had created. A grand scheme. It boggles the mind, a tad. A tad? So, we're all born from this endless cycle of life to replace the victims of the previous world. That's right. But there were also oh wait, is on? Oh, no, never mind. Survivors. I might. I have. A, I have an idea who Antos is. In Moritha, the unfortunate ones who clung to life. Ah, you mean those monsters? Were they originally people? Core crystals were first conceived as a replacement for human brain cells. A product of mankind's age-old quest for immortality. And that's what became of them. How awful. Yeah. But that technology became the starting point for the creation of blades and titans. So, in one sense, their sacrifice was not in vain. Though not all may see it as such. So tell us, in the end, did we develop as you had hoped? What do you think? I couldn't possibly. Well, those phantasms which you all experienced earlier, those are feelings that lurk in all of your hearts. As well as that man, Amalphasus. When a person loses something, they cannot help but seek a reason why. Within themselves, or in others. They seek a concrete answer to the question of who they really are deep inside I, I definitely think Such he killed the baby lonely existence which is really fucked but perhaps <laughs> that is what it is to be human all this data passed through me and I knew huh. all of you you were not in any way different from us before oh. that's why i did not intervene 500 years ago when the man finally arrived here i did nothing when he took away logos and numa i stood and watched as logos instantiated ah. into blade why would it go asleep during a cutscene game you don't really didn't you go to all that trouble to rebuild it? Then why would you... It is fate. Fate? It is fated to happen. It cannot but happen. My atonement... was doomed from the start. That can't be. I had made my peace with it. Once more, I longed for nothing more than to disappear. However, something has now changed. And that is you, Rex. You and Numa. Me and Pyra and Mithra. You reforged your bond in a way I had not thought possible. And the life you share. Moreover, the conduit, which fell into a stubborn silence after the world's end, 
has begun stirring. Is that still here? Can I see it? Rex. The power you and Numa exercise is the conduit's power. It comes leaking out of some far-flung dimension. And it is a power we can know nothing about. But with its help, the world may be about to change. Should I, should I be worried about that? I feel like I should be worried about that. All this shaking? It is Logos. Malos. Trying to destroy this world and everything in it. What? Remember, at heart, he is but an information processing unit. Neither good nor evil. Uh. He is driven <laughs> by a certain impulse. The despair that the man named Amalthus felt. I see. So it was right. What I felt back then, I mean. Rex. I mean, it Rex. makes sense, right? What is it you desire? Hell, Rex. even I got that earlier. To stop Malos. And if you succeed? I'll punch him in his stupid face, and then... With a sword, maybe. <clears throat> probably get a drink with him or something. What? That's the sixth rule of the salvages code. Oh my god. First have a punch out, <laughs> then drink to forget. Once you've forgotten, the friendship's all set. I'm... not old enough to drink yet, though. So we go with my plan. Numa. No. I should call you Pyra and Mithra. What is it? I want to apologize for having burdened you with all this. Don't worry. We're actually grateful. Thanks to you, Father, we got to meet Rex and everyone else. I would not get close to that black hole thing. Those are cherished memories. Father. I have transferred all of Elysium's data and authorizations to you. Make me proud. We will. Rex. Yes. I will disappear soon. When I do, the conduit will likely disappear from this world. You will not be able to use your power forever. Oh, that's depressing. I understand. We'll make do somehow. I'm counting on you. Does she get to stay like that now, though? Close. Hmm. Have you changed your mind about this world? Right now, I think I am glad I met you all. Got it. Then, our answers match. Thank you for giving us all life. Yeah, like... Don't disappear just yet. Perhaps, I need that power. Perhaps I will be able to face you again. Galea. Is she around here somewhere? Like half of her, maybe? Pyra, where's Malos? If he is here, I know where he must have gone. Where is it? Tell us. The greatest of all artifices. The artifice that exists solely to destroy the world. <laughs> Ion. Ion? So that's what Malos meant. Like, why would you have something solely to destroy the world? 
I mean, I, you just explained it, but in my head, I'm like, that doesn't seem right to have a weapon of that mass destruction. This is the thing we saw earlier, right, when uh, Pyra and Mythic became one. Then that's where we'll go. Actually, we just saw it in a cutscene not too long ago, too, I think. Uh, thanks? Alright. Oh, sweet. So we got a little, little bit of exploring time. Is she just here? No, she's not. God damn it. <laughs> I was like really hoping she was. Alright. I've waited for this. Pretty sure we're like Please be right on me. the cups of potentially the final boss. With that, that's gonna be the end of the episode. I know, right? That's a dick move. But that would be like probably a super long episode if I didn't do this. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you head to my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day.